marking the five-year anniversary of Abrahamic mission. And joining me in the studio to celebrate, to thank, and to appreciate, and to look into the past five years, how has it been, and you yourself that you are watching, what is your opinion? How has the program impacted in your life? Today, we'll be looking at what are the things that you, as a Muslim, we want to hear from you. What are the things that you have seen among Christians that you like, and you see that Christianity in Christianity you like, and among Christians that you like, as a Muslim, what uh, as a Christian this time around, what are the things that you like in Islam and among Muslims? We want to hear it, and how has the program impacted in your life as somebody that has been watching? You can send your WhatsApp message as SMS to zero seven zero. Four four nine, four four nine four nine. Again, zero seven zero four four nine four four nine four nine. That is why you send your message on WhatsApp. But if you want to call today, the number you are going to call is zero nine one five nine six nine four two seven four. Let me repeat. Zero nine one five nine six nine four two seven four. That is the number to call today. But before we start, I want to also once again thank uh, Imam Kabir. I use him to thank all the Muslims that have been participating in this program to say thank you. May God bless you. Uh, Imam, once again, you are welcome. Thank you very much. And I will use uh, Archbishop Peter Ogumuiwa to I will welcome you, and I will use you to thank all the Christian clergy that have been participating in this program to say well done and thank you. Archbishop, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and we want to thank the management of NTA for this program. They've been so magnanimous in provision of time for this. We thank you, we appreciate you, that God in his infinite mercy will continue to support you. And most importantly, I also want to appreciate his eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto. I, I can see Archbishop nodding his head. Sultan will not sleep. Sultan will be watching the program and he will be calling us, this is his opinion, this is his opinion about the program. And uh, Sultan will always tell us that this program has been extremely successful. Only in one place that this program is not successful. Do you want to want me to tell you how the Sultan said we have not been successful? He said we have not been we have not been able to convince him to appear on the program. That is the only <laughs> place where we are. Please, anybody who is listening to this program and you know his eminence, please help me help us beg him that we are waiting for him on this program that he will soon, by the special grace of God, appear on the program. So once again, thank you. Uh, we, like I said, we want to read, we want people, we want to have your experience, but, and we're going to start from the two of you, but before we start, let me read one message that was written by somebody, incidentally, from Mabakaliki in a ruined state. It's a long message, but we will use it to kickstart our discussion. I want you to listen carefully. He said, dear presenter, Abrahamic mission. Indeed, this is, a this is a veritable antidote to religious intolerance, hatred, and acrimony. Until I started to watch the program, Islam in its entire garment was quite repugnant to me, and I saw every Muslim as an indoctrinated killer and executioner. And I did my utmost best to keep Muslims at unbridgeable distance. I even consider it risky to embark on a journey in a public vehicle with any Muslim among the passengers. And I had in several occasions, when avoidable, declined to board such vehicles. This provides an insight into the enormity of my earlier perception of Islam and resentment to its adherents. Now let's now listen. He continued. He said, having been following the program Abrahamic Mission for a long time, my spite against Islam and resentment to Muslims gradually dissipated. I then decided to study the Quran to explore more in-depth knowledge of Islam as a religion. 
the result is that I began to extend hands of friendship to many Muslims. During one of the Salah celebrations, a Muslim family living within our neighborhood generously brought a bowl of food to my family, of which we thankfully accepted and ate, ate the food with relish. Unarguably, such, fra such fraternity would never have taken place but for the Abrahamic mission. The credit goes to you to for the for understanding and display that you people always display during the program. Thank you. He said, my name is Rizzi, Razi Egu Aga from Abakaliki in Ebony State. What's your opinion? Well, I, I, I want to thank and uh, commend this brother that has written this uh, 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 epistle, epistle. <laughs> so to say. Mm. I think he has uh, really done justice to this program. And uh, this is a, a very good one that uh, encourages even those of us that have been anchoring this program. So it is a good one and it has um, lifted him from the uh, position of ignorance to position of knowledge. Because it is out of ignorance that you see someone and you immediately develop a dislike or a, a wrong impression. But when you get closer to that person, you might eventually see something different which distance did not initially allow you to see. So this is one of the impacts of this program. This program has really helped in um, building trust amongst the adherents of this, these two religions. And uh, we, we will continue to thank God. When you were mentioning those you want to appreciate, I thought you would mention so the Koka. Uh, that is... Um, the Bishop of Sokoto. I don't know, not co the Koka. The oh, Ogawole uh, Koka. Koka. I will actually do that. I who also will was very instrumental. No, 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 no. I want to mention him specially uh, uh, and towards the end. Uh, because, so, mm -hmm. go ahead. So, this, this, this is uh, one of the product, I mean, his product and some of the fruit of what he actually embraced mm -hmm. when you, as the visionary, brought this uh, program to him. So I think th this is a very good development, especially from what the guy has written, to really say that Nigeria is becoming the nation of our dream. Because if there is no Nigeria, then where do we practice the so-called faith that we profess? Okay. So I think this program has helped and it's also building, like I said earlier, trust among Christians and Muslims alike. And I think this has helped a lot. If okay. I'm to share my own uh -huh. personal uh, experience, please go, please. I have gone to so many places. Mm -hmm. Before appearing on this uh, program, mm -hmm. I think I, I, I am not as popular as I am today. Mm -hmm. Because I've gone to, I've traveled even to the far north. Mm. And whenever I'm seen, they say, oh, ah, we saw you in a, ah, they thank you, Bishop. You are a good man, you are a good man. Are, you will see the, the malams, the, um, um, what do they call it? The Muslims. The Muslims, mm. they embrace me, they greet me, especially because of this program. So I think personally, I have benefited a lot in this program and I am proud to be associated to this Abrahamic uh, mission, mission and the vision. Imam? Well, uh, first of many all... Many people have been online, I just want you to <laughs> learn. So many people are calling, and so many messages are already here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. quickly, let me also acknowledge mm -hmm. with this brother who sent this mm -hmm. uh, wonderful message. Of course, uh, the aim and objectives of this is to bring together all Muslims and Christians to understand that religion is a personal affair. God himself gave us choice to choose whatever we want. So if I have the choice to choose whatever I want, that means whatever I choose should supposed to be mine alone. And that will not give me or will not allow me to chase yours.
because you too have your own personal choice, like a food. For example, if you choose to eat uh, two meal cooker, I would, eat, I would choose to eat, for example, uh, let me say gote. So you can see it is, it is personal experience. So all what we are here for is to bring everybody together to understand, yes, being a Muslim is your own choice. Yes. Being a Christian is your own choice. Okay. So we have to live together, together. in peace. And okay. sometimes it is Let not me, even sorry. based on our choices. Hello? Yes. Sometimes it is by Hello. accident or birth. Uh, uh, exactly. Bishop, so I want you to listen to this. Sorry. Hello, good evening. Mm. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? Please, your name and where you are calling from. My name is Lupin from Lagos, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. You are welcome. I'm really appreciating this program and it's not just for you to go. If we can have this program in all the stations, I think it will make us to educate and make us to know the same thing in this life. Okay. We are all created by God. I know something the reason why we are fighting about this. And the cause of this evil is because of the white people that is going to the religion come to us. That is the cause of this evil. They give us another thing because they want to make us to not to not make us to be united. But thank God we can see this program. I think it's the time for all to be united. Go to the and see the education. Thank you so much. <laughs> we, are, you, we are very grateful. We please, when you are talking, don't waste time so that other people can also be part of the program. Uh, we somebody is trying to actually call from Turkey, but let me pick this one. Hello. Uh, Hello. How are you, sir? Hello, Hello sir. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Good evening. Please, your name and where you are calling Hello. from. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I let me take some message here. I don't know. This one says, "Good evening, sir." He said, "With the enlightenment from this program on similarities between Christian and Muslim, I came to realize that we are one. We are we are." We both have the same mission and vision in the area of serving God, sir. I said, my name is Danjuma Kuzowo Abuja Airports. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening. Good evening. Please, your name and where you are calling from? My name is Amina. I'm calling from Yokoja. Okay, you are welcome, ma. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm calling to appreciate you, the program, everything, and for the understanding, because it's not everybody that understands the true religion. Some people think that being a Muslim is a crime, or it's, it's, not, it's not supposed to be a part of Allah's religion. But now that everybody is watching, we begin to understand and put all that for God. So we appreciate you to do it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This person right, said this is a commendable and educative program. It's also eye opener to the faithful of the two major religions. More power to you all, sir. Then please keep it up in order to promote love and unity among us and to discourage religious discrimination and primitive behaviors among us. Say kudos to the guests for their robust contribution. Say from Orimo Guja Solomon from Oyota. Thank you. You know, you want to tell us your experience as uh, a very good participant of this program. Uh, we've heard from Archbishop. Yes, uh, you know, you know. First of my my experience. First of all, myself, I have learned a lot from this program because uh, whenever I was not in the studio, definitely I watch it at home, like that of last week. So. It is a wonderful experience. Of course, outside, you know, whenever I found myself uh, in any place of this nation, mm. I used to be identified. Ah, so, Imam, thank you for that, your program you are doing. Many people, the answer is the same. 
In fact, I was opportune to travel outside in Nigeria. The same thing. Imam, so you are the one. Ah, thank you very much. Please continue doing this. It's a wonderful idea. We thank you for that because we have learned a lot from what you people are doing. So you see, it is a wonderful experience. Yeah. There is one politician that I also want us to appreciate, Governor Lalong, yeah. former governor of Plateau States. As a governor, he came here about three times. And it was, he said something that I will never forget. He said, Imam, do you know since I've become the governor of this state, I've never been appreciated the way people have treated when I left the state. Even my number one enemy called me to appreciate me from because of this. He said, as if I've never been on television before. Governor is now a minister of uh, labor. labor. We want to thank you and we want to appreciate you for the support. We hope that you will still continue to support the program. Let me pick this person. This person. Hello? Hello? Well, you have to turn down the volume of your TV set if you want us to be together. Hello? How are you, ma'am? Hello, ma'am. Good evening. We are listening to you. I just want to appreciate you. People. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so I'm much. Yeah, I'm not going to be your guide on. I mean, <laughs> but you tell us your name and where you are calling from. I'm sorry, I'm calling from Kwarate. I am from Kwarate. Thank you so much, ma'am. And that reminds me that Commissioner mm -hmm. Religious Affairs of Kwara State. Of Kwara State. Yes. yes. One, yeah. Yes, I say religion to the governor of Kwara State. governor of Kwara State, yes. Dan, Me, Dan Megoro. Yes. Yes, it was, uh, we want to thank you. Let me quickly read this message. And uh, this one, right, he said, Good evening, Bishop and Imam Kabir. There is nothing to say than to acknowledge the fact that Abrahamic Mikasi program has liberated many of us, being Muslim or Christian, from ignorance, especially as it concerns the two religions. May we be on the right path of God. Joshua Brilwa from Karu. Abuja, thank you so much for this. We should also not forget the contribution of this program to not just to every family because it has helped in bringing families together, friends together mm -hmm. from different uh, religion, and then also the role this program also played in politics. Mm -hmm. You re will remember the mm -hmm. era of this um, Muslim Muslim ticket. Yes. We did a program whereby we tried as much as possible to douse the tension. Exactly. And many people watched the program and they were so happy exactly. that if these people can sit together like this, then what is the bad in us having who, whichever fit exactly. to be to lead us? So the, the, we should not forget the role this program played in stabilizing the polity and trying to uh, mean it, uh, allay the fears of especially the Christians during the time the era when the politics was so heated mm -hmm. as if Nigeria would collapse if a Muslim Muslim ticket if uh, uh, being succeed mm -hmm. but today we thank God that they are on board and yet we are still together and the government itself is trying to manage the two religions and then to move us forward so this program has really helped in so many ways we have seen friends that have called to say well if not for this program where well, uh, ordinarily i will not have anything to do with any christian or any uh, muslim brother but this program has been able to mend fences and also uh, they, they try to bring our differences and to give us a better life thank so you. we should not forget to mention that thank you let me read this message Although it's an epistle too. You can say good evening, presenter, and a wonderful greeting to your guests in the program. I became a viewer of your program by accident, and I must confess, your program has changed me and reframed my religious mentality for good. My experience as a viewer is this. Say the Abrahamic mission is a powerful testament to the potential for unity, understanding, and compassion among different religious traditions in Nigeria and even globally. So there is no better time to make this program public than now. I wish there are such program in places like Israel, Palestine, and other crisis-prone territories. Your program highlights 
the shared values of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, emphasizing the importance of law, justice, and peace by promoting a sacred dialogue and cooperation. The Abrahamic mission encourages individuals to transcend their differences and work together towards a better world. It serves as a reminder that despite our diverse beliefs, we can find common ground and build bridges of understanding. The Abrahamic mission inspires hope and reminds us of the power of faith to bring people together in harmony and mutual respect. Say thank you, Seko Jubril Guri. Uh, do we also uh, let me say uh, a few uh, things? Okay. okay, hello, please turn down the volume of your TV, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. Your name, and where you are calling from, sir? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We are very grateful to be on my please. Your name, sir. Uh, can send a, a WhatsApp or text message to the WhatsApp number, then from there we'll pick it up, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, let me clearly read this message before we go on a short break. Now, this one says, my name is God's time from Botakot. This is a good avenue to preach love and unity between Muslim and Christian. I suggest this program should be extended to all TV stations. All radio stations should engage in this too. It should be translated to the three main languages to target, to get to the grassroots. Thank you so much. I think we have to go on a short break now. So many calls, so many uh, WhatsApp messages. But don't go away. We'll still take more. And you want to hear your views and what we should be doing better when we come back. Thank you. <laughs> 